Greetings, lords and ladies, and welcome to the next episode of our Epirus campaign in Imperator Rome. When last we left off, we had declared war against Akarnania, who apparently managed to pull in two additional nations after the fact. Uh, we will, I decided, actually call off our army from Thermos straight into Naupactos. Hopefully, all of these armies together will manage to beat these guys. Uh, we're gonna go skirmishing because if I'm not mistaken, they always take bottleneck. Yep. We'll be taking skirmishing. We'll be taking skirmishing on us as well. Too bad we can't pick that anymore, but currently they actually have the upper hand in this battle. One more thing I will do is recruit an additional unit of... It's like a pastist. Onto that army right there. Hopefully they manage to stand strong versus that attacker. We'll see. Now let's see what happens here. Currently winning but losing way too many units. There we go. We are getting our allies to join us. Aha! Uh -huh. We were victorious on um, Leokas as well. Wonderful. Even more units are coming in. Boom, boom, boom. What's the situation right here? Yep. Only one more cohort is fighting on their side. There we go. Should be an easy victory with that. Boom. Um, we will be combining our armies and head straight to Thermos. Uh, actually, I'm going to split it in half. Eh, it's still not good enough. Select. Create new units. Put, like... should be enough. Alright, you guys to Thermos, the others stay right there. Take that over. Pop! Alright, Thermos is all that's left. I am going to give command over this place, and apparently not. Alright. Let's just hope we manage to take over Thermos before anything else happens, before any more armies arrive here. I'm actually gonna get some more units into this army as well. For one reason, um, just to uh, reinforce this army for another reason, because I would like to keep our relative strength higher than Macedon so that they don't get any weird ideas about attacking us anytime soon. Because our entire success as Epirus hinges on whether or not Macedon keeps being relatively peaceful over there, or if they decide to be complete and total Arschlochs and just attack us immediately. In fact, I'm actually going to send our... There we go. We're gonna go Proxenoi. For the additional improved relations, and we are also going to go improve the relation in Hospitium. And actually start improving our relations with Macedon. There we go, we have an embassy established. Let's try and get this as high up as possible and try and have Macedon not be a bully. It would be absolutely marvelous and wonderful if we could do that. Pyrrhus appears to be developing a strong camaraderie with Libis Pithere. Um, friends with... Yeah, sure, why not? It's always good to have friends. There we go. That army's done. Let's send them to here as well. One pop died. Okay, so no prisoners were taken. Just died. The pops just died. Alright. Come on. Let's do this fast. Let's do this fast. 28. There we go. Let the looting be gentle. Two pops captured. One pop went as a slave to Nicopolis. The other pop died. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, I think we can sue for peace and just demand everything over here. Excellent, I will also demand money, of course. Let's check their families. Do they have anything good? 7345, not that impressive. 95210, Olymp... Oh, 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 this one is actually pretty good. 1480, not that good. 9217, I mean pretty good, but we'll only take one and we'll take the Kef... Kefistodid family and have the rest of them crucified. There we go. 
War is over. Select that army. We cannot remove this guy until September of this year. I see. All right. One thing we are going to do is move our entire army all the way up to Foynike. Because I wish to also declare war on um, Korkira as fast as possible. And just unite Epirus all together. There is a Scorn family. Oh, right, the family that we just uh, took in. Uh, that's an aid. That's an aid. Epistrategos. He can either be no. Let him. Let him be the morale of armies guy. Buff. Like that. Should be gone. It's not gone yet. They're still Scorn. I mean, the other guy is a good zeal man. So we could increase our monthly legitimacy. Or we could increase the omen power. Right now we're taking quite a hit because of the goddamn Molossians. We'll do this. We should be gone now. Yep. Kurkira's asking for military access. Nope, we're not <laughs> definitely not giving them military access. We're about to attack them. What are you talking about, man? Stop dreaming. Uh, fleet maintenance. Fort maintenance we can also lower. Uh... Is, is fine the way it is. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna recruit some more units. Actually, I'm gonna recruit like four heavy infantry units like that. Some more Hippastists. Some more Siloi. Uh, let me see, which ones are better? Army movement speed 2, maneuver 1. 2, 1. Take one more Siloy. Like that. Like I said, I just want to have our armies be relatively strong in comparison to this big green blob. <laughs> I keep saying green! Big blue blob right there. Boom. What is this? Call to arms from Talantia. They are at war with Azania and... This is the war that they have started. What for? What did you start this war for? Show superiority. You can't really take those lands, I think. I mean, you can make them your... Um, your, 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 your... Tributaries, yes. If we decline, we no longer have an alliance with them, and we can actually go to war with them soon enough. I'm gonna decline. Let's let's see if that was a good idea. A son was born to Basilius. Hey, hey, hey! First time that's happened. Usually, I kept thinking that it's actually hard coded that whenever I play Epirus, um, the first child or the first few children are always, literally always, um, daughters. <laughs> can declare war against you f to show superiority. You will be calling in Daorsia, so you have 12 units. They have 16, so altogether 28. Should be able to do it. As mentioned, I could literally just destroy their army right here, right now, if I was to declare war immediately. That's a gamble, isn't it? Do we want Korkira or do we want Taulantia? Taulantia is definitely larger. Definitely a much, much juicier target. Right, Kavia has 11 cohorts. Those would also come in and help. Hmm. We'll just go for Krokira first, and then go for Talantia. There you go. Probably have quite the massive... Yep, 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 yep. Thanks to all those units we've just trained up. Combine. I cannot combine them. Uh, there's a... Deselect. 
Krokira, I declare war upon thee. Show superiority. We gain some war exhaustion. And we also lose some stability. Should be okay. Let's just get our armies there quickly. Uh, the Olympic Games. Once more, the renowned Olympic Games are due to occur in the city of Olympia. The traditions surrounding these games are ancient, reputedly dating back to the days of mighty Heracles himself. And they are an occasion in which all of Greece rejoices. It is a custom. All right, compete on our behalf. We have, we believe, we have found two ideal candidates: a towering Adonis of a man by the name of Helenos, and a well-muscled brute of a man who calls himself Gilipos. Gilipos. All right. So this guy is, what is he? He is the Arches. He is the Hierophant. The Hierophant does what? He's not the Hierophant. What? He's a friend of the Hierophon. Alright. So we can send this guy, sure. Send Gilpos. Gilipos. Combine the army under Pyrrhus. Let's say, what are they gonna choose? What are we betting they're gonna choose, huh? Let's go bottleneck. Let's try. They went deception. Interesting. Defensive League from Patrai. Who's in your Defensive League, sir? Uh, basically nobody. Nope. Nope, you didn't pay me, Azania. Pure second I just can't manage anymore. It all seems to be getting far too real. What? Excuse you? Pyrrhus! Stressed! He's supposed to be like one of the strongest people... Uh, I'm gonna do that. And decline that. Forgot to click uh, that we do not want to get rid of any... Any surpluses in the capital. Let me see, we just need 5,000 units. That's 5,000, so select this army and send it straight there. Pretty sure that we can now lower the maintenance of the army as well. Combine them all in Funike. They want olives from Epirus. Oh, we do have two of them. I'm sorry. Yeah, we can accept that. Should be able to take care of this army quickly. Oh, we're actually going some other direction. You guys are at war with Abria, Kukira, Zanya, Heraya. Heraya. Interesting. Alright. Let's just wait for this to finish. What is this? Tenentum is proposing to import marble from province of Aetolia. Sure, we'll accept that. We're currently in a bit of a deficit. Monthly loyalty goes down, loyalty gain chance, plus 10%, because, yeah, generals are going to be paying their... Oh, thank you very much, Azania! You saved us from the deficit. <laughs> Just as I was explaining what the deficit is and means and does. Mm, supported peers, improved relations, that's going up. Aggressive expansion, yeah, I know, I know, I know. We have to take it easy with the aggressive expansion. We just... I just don't want a war with Macedon. Sorry about that little pause right there. I <laughs> had to sneeze. Uh, disease. Are you kidding me? We got the disease outbreak? What are the chances of that? One! 7% chance, and we got that. Olympics concluded. The guy is back. He didn't win. Oh, well, better luck next time, we say. Access from Ellis. Nope. Pay me if you want access. Pay me if you want access. Supply shortage. Finally something's happening. There we go! He knows how to do it. He knows how to do it too. Thank you very much. Alright, now I'm actually gonna let you. Ask me again, and I'll let you. Oh. Thank you. Very, very generous. These guys, why can I not... 
remove you yet. Split in half. Because apparently we do not. What, blah, 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 blah. what is this? Balakros Theronid and his dream of high office are fairly well known in Epirus. But recently he has been lobbying more urgently of his suitability and deservedness. Okay, it what? While ordinarily we would be able to appoint whoever we like to the post without causing offense or starting rumors, the enthusiasm of Balakros has put us in a rather awkward position regarding the incubant, incubant official. We should approach this carefully, just given the job. The job of what? Balakros becomes Trophius. I mean, he actually would be a good Trophius. This guy would lose loyalty, but this guy would gain it. And we would actually have a better guy doing that. Sure, just give him the job. you have anybody better than this? Nope. I do want this to go down faster. Research needed, right. Um, hey, don't worry. You can be a researcher now, even if you're not the same position that you were in before. No, you were at war with me. Pay me and I'll let you through. <laughs> That's how we work. How are we doing here? Supported peers, that's going down. Improved relations, that's going up. Good, 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 good. Same religion, aggressive expansion. Yeah, we're trying to get it down. Though we're about to increase it further by taking Corkido as well, but hey. Um, let's see. We can, with our oratory power, actually take the another idea. Let's go monthly corruption minus, and there we go. We have national citizen happiness plus 10%, monthly tyranny plus zero, uh, or rather minus 0 0.10. And with that, the populace here is suddenly happy. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, we are... Huh. Assimilating the populace there. What about over here? Multi civilization change. Nope, we're actually going to be changing that into encourage trade so that we can actually bring in some more resources now what do we actually want to bring in um citizen promotion cost not something i would be looking at right now just yet uh, army maintenance cost that would definitely be nice so can we get any wine from anywhere yes we can from ferraria there we go. So, ma uh, army maintenance cost is now down. And we're gaining a little bit more money from that as well. Uh, and you know what? Considering there is no more army in Korkira, I'm just gonna do this. Just lower the army maintenance all the way down to zero. We currently have 30,000, you have 38,000. Are you. What are you doing? Why are you minus 147 in the minus? I wonder. He has 38 cohorts. I don't like it! Why is he getting so strong, so much stronger? I don't want him to declare war on us! <laughs> Aggressive expansion is going down. What is this? The last of the Argiraspides. Oh, those are the Silver Shields, right? Yeah, there we go. One of the fabled veterans from the Silver Shields. The backbone of Alexander's army is requesting a place to stay in Epirus. They have not often been seen after they betrayed you manies. Yes, you traitors. By handing him over to Antigonus, as the unit was split up and dismissed by the general. It seems Python Agoth Agathoclid was banished from Boetia. He's granted citizenship status, or he may loiter for a while, perhaps. He's got a 12 marshal! He's got a not Yeah, uh, he will be welcome in Epirus. Willkommen! What can you do? We can have you be... The morale of armies, guy. Mm, 
this guy would actually be better, so let's put him there. Though, ah. It's every two points that they actually increase that. Okay, that was my bad. That was actually my bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put him here and put him there. Like that. Ding ding. Low army maintenance while at war. Yeah, I know, I know. Don't worry about it. Water shortage. There, that's it. From 14% to 35%. Now, that's what we like to see. Uh, inventions. What can we go? Oath of Brotherhood. Omen power. Property tax. I mean, we could go national tax a little bit more. Yeah. Let's get some more money. A little bit more. 5% of 511. It's not going to be that much, but it's going to be something. It's going to be something. Our men in Kefalonia woke up to find large mass of olives unlike any ever seen before. The local priest declared it a blessing of Athena. Some say it is even a show of preference to the rest of the world. Our high priest Orestes Theroni suggests building a small shrine to celebrate the goddess to thank her for the gifts she has given us. We lose money, we don't have money. Or we gain religious power and olive blessing for five years. Sure, I'll take that. And with that, we can also do a sacrifice to the gods. Wait, how close are we to the omen ending? A whole nother year. Uh, we'll do a sacrifice to the gods. Let's lower that stability penalty. Uh, in a year, so that's 12 months. That's another 60 points. Eh, we're not going to be on 200 for the omen, but it's fine, it's fine. The Timlet family is still very upset. I mean, are you good at anything else? Not particularly. What I can do is... Wait, uh, you. Just dismiss you. Uh, we can create a new unit. Just make a Timlet member just a random general. Loyalty gain chance. No. Simulated. What about you? Siege ability, loyalty gain chance, minus. Oh, okay, so this guy has a less of a loyalty chance. Wonderful. Alright, and that should be it, right? Yep, they're gone. Alright. Pretender support. Yeah, I know, I know. And they're mostly supporting my pre the Pretender, a.k.a. Neoptolemus, because my son is just a baby. Come on, 42... Let's get to that 100 already, or rather, as high as we can be with the amount we have. There we go. Let the looting be gentle. One in Kurkira. Uh, super piece. Kurkira to me. All the money you have to me as well. Boom. Pass judgment on the important families. 10 oratory. That's pretty good. Bad at everything else, but 10 oratory. He would help uh, the aggressive expansion change faster. Alright, we'll take the Alkit's Laid. The Laid. There we go. Alright. So the aggressive expansion will go down faster. Uh, that is the war done. Now we need to somehow focus on getting more money. Money, money, money. To make up for the current balance. Fort maintenance, what was that on? I mean, we could go research points and just increase the slave input for now. Output, not input, sorry. The research would suffer, but until we... I might have recruited a little bit too many units, but... All in all... I find it good to have the units we do. There's still an open trade route here, so that's gonna help us a little bit. Um, another thing we can do is... Now we're already supporting trade here. We're assimilating over here. How good are you doing there? Three pops in total have been assimilated, have they? Have they? One, two, oh, okay. Three. Good, keep it up. Keep it up. Uh, in the meantime, we do still have a trade route open here. 
Uh, and we could increase the taxes by a little bit more at the expense of the research points. Huh. For the time being, probably not a bad idea. Nope, doesn't doesn't really help much. Just leave it where it is. Mm, eventually, possibly create another trade route there. I mean, all in all, we could disband a few units, but I would rather not. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. How are we in the plus? We're not in the plus. What are you talking about? Everything's on minimum wages. We're not going to be going lower on the wages. That's for sure. Save. Trade route. Maybe fish... For olives, local slave happiness, they're not exactly happy, so the olives would actually be good. From Barca. This will earn us 0 0.13 per each month. Really? Only? It's actually better if we export it from ourselves, apparently. Yeah, but then we... No, we do have a surplus of olives. Heck yeah. There. Still have a surplus in the capital, and now these guys are also happier. Right? Right. There we go. Economy's already looking a little bit better. Uh, nope, still not gonna get into the plus. <laughs> One way we can get into the plus is... Let's check what the situation is with our population. We have 25 slaves in Epirus. Now then, which of these would we like to have more of? Nicopolis has olives. Like, if we... if we moved an additional eight slaves into Nicopolis, we would gain another surplus of olives, which would then be shipped out. We, which could be shipped out. It would give us, what, 40... Export gold. That would help the economy a little bit. A little bit. Mm, or we could go Dodona, have local citizen happiness. Thinking olives would probably be a better idea, though... If we have precious metals, citizen promotion costs 10% off. That is absolutely amazing. Ah, uh, how do we increase the number? By having another trade route here, possibly. That's one way to do it. How much are we in the minus? 69. So if we were to export one here, import one there... We're gonna do this. Encourage trade. And let's see, once we get the 25 we need... What is this? Oh, thank you for the money. Uh, defensive League... How many people are in the Defensive League now? You're alone. Are you actually completely alone? You have no allies, but I have no oratory power because I keep using it. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. What trade can we do? I mean, I guess we can do fish. Do we have a surplus? We do not have a surplus of fish here. Fish surplus does what? National Freeman happiness. So yeah, no, we're not getting rid of that. We can't get rid of that. Olives from Barca, but we already have olives here. Uh, what is the olive... Just gives an additional 2% slave happiness. That's that's not something good. That's not something too good at all. Uh, maybe grain? How far? Like, people hate us probably just because of our aggressive expansion. Well, other reasons as well, of course, but... 
Can we do anything about the economy? Commerce income. No. Spices. No. Cloth. No. Nothing is available. At all. Wow. <laughs> Precious metals are available, but both of these nations don't particularly care about us. Alright, so I guess we've come to the point where I'm probably going to have to make a little bit of cut, but I believe the episode has gone on for long enough, actually. So I will be ending the episode right here, and I'll probably see you in a little bit, either when our aggressive expansion has gone down or something has happened, or I find something else to do. We will see. At any rate, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I have been Kaiser. If you enjoy what I do, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe, and all of that jazz. And make sure you also share these videos. It's a completely new series. Hopefully it does well. We'll see. Until next time, guys. Ad gloriam.